All right, number one, um, we want to determine if the following equation is linear. And then if it is linear, we're going to convert it to standard form. And that is the AX plus BY equals C. So this form up here. So all we're going to do is simplify this and then see if we end up with a single X with no variable, single Y with no, I said no variable, with no exponent is what I mean. Single Y with no exponent and then some number. It doesn't have to be all positive. It could be negative. But as long as I have an X, a Y, and a number, um, then we'll be able to set this up in standard form. So we have 3X plus 7. Open parentheses times the quantity Y plus X equals 2. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, do is distribute uh, the 7 throughout the parentheses. So we have 3x. This will be plus 7y and then plus 7x equals 2. We're going to combine like terms. So the 3x and the 7x, we can add those. They're both positive. And that will give us 10x plus 7y equals 2. So here it is, linear. We have 1x, 1y, and then it's already in standard form after we have simplified. So we're going to click linear, and then just type in 10x plus 7y equals 2. All right, so number two, we're going to do the same thing. Now, at a glance, it doesn't look linear, but we do need to simplify it and verify. Um, sometimes they give you something with a squared, and then it cancels out. So we're going to simplify this, um, and then if the y squared cancel out, we, we will confirm that it's linear, and then we'll put it in standard form, and then if they do not cancel out, then we will say it is not linear, and we will not have to put it in standard form because there is no standard form if it is not linear. So not not in the form of being a linear equation. <coughs> so we have in parentheses three plus y squared minus y squared equals negative eleven x plus seven. Okay, so <coughs> this is 3 plus y squared, which means we're going to be doing 3 plus y and then another 3 plus y. You can't just simply square both of them. But um, I'm going to save some space. I'm going to try to teach you the shortcut for squaring a binomial. So if you have two terms and you have to square it, and this is what's going to happen. You will end up with both of these terms squared, but there's a middle term that you have to um, remember when you do this. So the process is you're going to square the first term. So I'm going to square 3 and get 9. That's what you would get if you did 3 times 3. All right. And then we're going to multiply 3 times y, but you have to double it because you're going to have that term twice. So 3 times y, that's a positive 3y. And then if you double it, or times 2, and you will always do this, always times 2, whenever you're squaring it. So 3 times y is 3y, times 2 is going to be 6y, and since they're both positive, it's going to be a positive 6y. Now that is coming from whenever you do 3 times y, that's one of them, and then when you do y times 3, that's the other one. So you'll have a 3y here. And a 3y here, 3 plus 3 will give you 6y. So that's why we multiply and double. That's always going to be the case when you're squaring. And then the last step is to square the last term. And that will usually always be positive because a negative squared is positive and a positive squared is positive. So we get y squared. So this is a shortcut to um, foiling or squaring a binomial. Square, <coughs> square the first term, multiply these two and double and then square the last term <coughs> and then bring down the rest of the problem minus y squared equals negative 11x plus 7 and now we're going to start simplifying so notice 
be positive y squared, negative y squared, they will cancel each other out. All right. And then I'm going to combine my terms. So I'm going to move my x over because standard form has x and y on the same side. And then I'm going to get rid of the 9 and move it over. <coughs> so to move the x over, I have to add it. There's opposite. And then to move this 9 over, I have to subtract 9. And then I'm just going to add the 11x on both sides. So <coughs> 9 minus 9 goes to 0. 11x minus 11x goes to 0. So I cannot combine these. There are different terms. This is x and y. So I'm going to put my 11x out front and then plus 6y because it's positive. And then bring down equal. And then 7 minus 9 will give us a negative 2. So here we go. It's a linear equation, and that is our standard form. 